Hello my friends, today we are going to the vast chicken farms in the United States to see how they produce billions of tons of chickens and billions of eggs each year. According to statistics in 2002, the United States produced 3.2 billion tons of chickens and around 97.3 billion eggs. In recent years, the United States and China have always been the two countries with the largest meat and egg production in the world. Here's what's going on at an incubator on a farm in Pennsylvania. Thousands of eggs will be brought here and incubated for about 19 days. Each incubator of this farm can hold around 71,000 eggs in each incubation. Currently, the United States has about 229,000 chicken farms. These are distributed mainly in states such as Iowa, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. After 10 days, the eggs will be moved through a scanner. The scanner is responsible for detecting and removing eggs that cannot be hatched. In order to maintain the temperature and help the cells inside develop in the most stable way, the eggs will be turned automatically and this is pre-programmed on the equipment of the incubator. Next, the eggs will be moved to another machine. This machine is responsible for injecting an organic vaccine inside the egg. This is not an antibiotic at all. Once the testing and vaccinations are complete, the eggs will be sent to the incubator again, and in a few days, adorable chicks will be born. Right after hatching, the chicks are able to eat and drink immediately because the feed and water were put in the tray a few days earlier. About 518 million chickens are born in the United States each year. After a day in the incubator, thousands of chickens will be brought out and begin a new journey. Week or crippled chicks will be discarded and they will be sent to another production process. For a lot of people, this seems cruel, but it is a fact that happens every day on large scale chicken farms. The healthy chicks will then be moved to official farms. At these farms, workers will use wood mulch to strip the ground. This is very good material in regards to poultry farming. It has the effect of absorbing water in chicken manure and limiting odors. Our main characters have appeared. With a large space, the chicks can freely move and play.
The main ingredients used to make chicken feed are healthy beans, corn, some industrial bran and other fiber. Every year, chicken farms in the United States consume about 48 million tons of soybeans, equivalent to 40% of the country's soybean production. After two months, all of the chickens here weigh around four pounds and are ready to be harvested. At this time, they will be living in a place higher than the ground. This makes it easier to collect manure and keeps the floor of the chicken coop dry at all times. Newly laid eggs will be moved to the trays through an automatic conveyor system. Here the eggs will be carefully arranged and ready to be transported to restaurants and supermarkets. In 2022, the average American consumed about 286 eggs each year, and this number is forecast to increase to 291 eggs in 2023. In addition to raising chickens to lay eggs, large farms also raise millions of chickens to serve the demands for meat. When these chickens reach six pounds, the harvest will begin. This machine is used to put the chickens into plastic trays, which are then transported to the chicken processing plant. This is what happens at a chicken processing plant. These images may make some people feel uncomfortable. In this chicken factory, the chickens will be hung upside down and dipped into boiling water before coming to the process of cleaning their body of feathers. Chicken legs and chicken necks are also cut by fully automatic machines. Their organs are also completely removed before the chicken is released into the tank to be cleaned and disinfected. Chicken wings, thighs and chicken breasts are also then separated and packaged before being shipped to supermarkets. In large scale chicken farms, the life cycle of a chicken usually lasts only three to four months before it is sent to the meat processing plant. How do you feel about the process of raising and harvesting chickens in this video? Let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. Hello my friends. Today we are going to several goat farms in the United States to see how the process of raising millions of goats works. As of September 2022, there are about 2.65 million goats in the United States. They are concentrated mainly in states such as Tennessee, Texas, California, and Georgia. This is a goat farm in Georgia. After about 145 days of pregnancy, hundreds of female goats here have started giving birth. According to statistics from the United States Department of Agriculture, about 778,000 baby goats are born each year, and up to 47% of them are born in Texas. Look, there are a lot of flies on this goat farm, but that's not much of a problem for the health of the goats.
At one week old, these goats weigh about 13 pounds. At this time, they will be separated to another area to drink as much milk as possible. When the goats reach one month old, they will be allowed to go outside for freedom of movement and play. Goats are considered fully mature when they reach 18 months of age. At this point, the average weight of the goats is between 110 and 115 pounds. This is a grazing goat farm in Texas. In the morning, these herders will release the goats to the pastures so that they are free to feed. Currently in Texas, there are about 1.1 million goats, accounting for 41% of the national goat population. Most of the state's goats are raised for meat, with 83% of US goat meat production coming from Texas. In the late afternoon, these dogs will be used to chase the goats into the holding area, which helps them to avoid attack by coyotes at night. It is estimated that about 1,100 goats in Texas are attacked by coyotes each year. On several goat farms in South Texas, ranchers regularly move their goats to different pastures to feed. This helps the pastures last longer and reduces the incidence of parasites inside the goats. Here's what's going on at a dairy goat farm in California. The goats here have a richer diet with more grains and protein. Currently, in California, there are about 97,000 goats and 45% of them are raised for the purpose of milk harvesting. Have you ever drunk goat milk before? Let us know how you feel about the taste of this milk. This is the process of milking goats at a factory in California. This modern equipment is used to milk 90 goats at a time. Each day, each goat here can produce 9 to 12 pounds of milk. In 2022, in the United States, there are about 371,000 goats raised for milk and dairy goat farms are mainly concentrated in California, Wisconsin and Iowa. After the milking process is complete, the equipment is cleaned and the goat milk collected is sent to the cheese factory. This is a goat cheese factory in Wisconsin. Have you ever eaten goat cheese before? Let us know what you think about this dish. Currently South Sudan, Spain and France are the countries with the largest goat cheese production in the world.
here's what's going on at a traditional goat cheese production facility. How do you feel about the process of raising and producing goat cheese that we showed you in this video? Let us know what you think in the comment section of this video. Goodbye and see you in the next video.